Next up, we're going to have um, Mr. Chinetu Oyeyele, publisher of Metro Air, to present an award. Give it up for Mr. Chinetu. Mr. Chinetu, please. Ibokwanu! Lienu! Mwanu! So, no reserve for Ibokwanu. Yeah, Warish. Warish. We see. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm honored to stand before you to present um, this recognition award. Tonight, I've been asked to present the Beacon of Hope Award. The first time this award was given out was four years ago. The first and only time. But today is back. Before I continue, may I call on the Deputy Ambassador, who is the Deputy Head of Mission, Nigerian Embassy, Mr. Georges Alabi, who will make the presentation to please come on stage. Mr. Alabi, sir, please. Put your hands for Mr. Alabi. Why is coming? Every time I introduce Mr. Alabi, I say Mr. George Alabi, people will come back to me and say, was that a mistake? Do you mean Georges or George? I always say his name is Georges. That is what I understand. The award, as I said earlier on, is uh, the Beacon of Hope Award. It is going to be given to somebody who is an inspiration. Not to Nigerians alone, but to every immigrant in Ireland. The man I'm talking about is also an inspiration to Irish people. Why, you may ask. Over the last couple of years, the man has been running his own company in Ireland. His company employs about 90 people from all over the world. And the company makes about 7.8 million every year. That is the turnover. The name of the company is Allegrin Recycling Limited. And what does it do? The company recycles second-hand clothes which are bought from different suppliers across the UK and Ireland and those clothes are sorted into different categories. I am proud to say that the gentleman who owns the company is a Nigerian and an Igbo man for that matter. Ladies and gentlemen, when you visit Northern Ireland and mention Ali Green, both Irish people and immigrants will tell you that, look, without him, that the area where the company is located would be suffering massive unemployment. The company is based in Newry, in Northern Ireland. And the owner and chief executive of the company, I am honored to present to you tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Mr. Henry Alenta on stage. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you everybody. Good evening. I received this award on behalf of the hard working immigrants in Ireland. Because I came here a few years ago 
I'm here at 12 years now. And currently, we have 200 employees in our company. And our turnover has massively increased to 20 million euros a year. So, again, I thank my host, the Irish people, because I know without their help, I will not be where I am. Since I came here, they have been really helpful, doing all they can to help to see to our growth. So I receive this award on behalf of all working, hard working immigrants. I thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. I like big men. Big men they talk so much. How many talk tired? If you might be saying, if it's, it's like, you're a big man, you give this award, you be top three, few. Thank you very much. I want to thank my family and uh, those people that work with me. Big men, poor men, watch.